What's up Gyro Nation? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Drew and I just played a solo round out here so Josh isn't with me today but I wanted to catch up with you guys and kind of let you know how my game has progressed since switching to MVP. So I made the switch about seven weeks ago or so and um, you guys saw when I first threw these discs and so I just wanted to give you my impressions of them uh, and kind of answer the question of you know are these more are they better than the other discs from a physics standpoint? And I know that's a controversial question to answer. I'm not a scientist. Whatever I say probably isn't science, but I'm going to tell you my experience and then we'll see what you guys feel about that. So in terms of the gyro technology, uh, I do notice that there is more weight around the rim as opposed to it just being all one piece. What that's allowing me to do is throw way more stable discs. So. To the question of does MVP fly further, I would say yes and no. Uh, let me explain. If we're talking about high speed discs like an Octane versus a Destroyer or any Speed 13 like a Shrike, uh, for my arm, I would say no. It flies about the same. Um, I can pump uh, an Octane probably 420. I can pump a Destroyer probably about 420. So. Um, I would say from my arm, I can't say that the high speed drivers for MVP fly further, but I don't have a James Conrad, Conrad arm or, or a pro arm, you know, I, I can't really judge that. However, I find with the slower speed discs, yeah, they do go further and mainly because they're a lot more stable and they can handle a lot more torque. So it's not that it throws further if I put the same amount of effort of say, um, an Envy versus a Luna, if I threw them both the same, they're gonna fly about the same. But I can crank an Envy a lot harder than I can crank a Luna. If I were to throw my big Z Luna, I would have to throw it on hyzer, I would have to slow my arm speed down and worry about the snap. Whereas if I throw an Envy, I could throw that thing like a high speed driver, it will not turn over. And so I'm throwing it as hard as I possibly can. In which case, I'm gonna probably touch about 300 with a Luna with a slower controlled shot. And I can probably crank an Envy out to about 330, 340. So with a, say a resistor, which is a speed 6.5, I'm gonna put that in the fairway classification. Uh, that to me is comparable to an instinct, but it's a longer instinct. So with an instinct, I'll probably throw about 310. If I throw, um, the resistor, it's gonna go about 350. And if I put a little bit of Anheuser on the resistor, it'll touch about 397. That's the longest I've thrown it so far. Um, I like to throw my disc flat just for reference. I rarely throw Heiser unless I'm trying to bend a disc around. So if I'm just going for straight distance, I'll throw it flat or maybe a little bit of Anheuser, try to get a little bit of a flex shot out of it. And I just noticed that the MVP discs just, they just fly, they just go, they glide forever and uh, they don't skip as far. So the biggest adjustment that I've made so far in my game is relearning lines because with the other manufacturers, I have to throw, let's just say I'm, my target's here, right? I have to throw it out here, expecting the disc to swing back and bounce towards the target. Whereas with an MVP disc, I could throw it straighter towards the target and it'll fade in and it'll probably roll around the basket. That is a huge adjustment for me. It allows me to take a more direct route. And honestly, it is way better for me and my scores to be able to plant a disc around the basket. Because if I'm trying to overcompensate for a skip and it doesn't skip, I'm probably 30, 25, 30, 35 feet away. That's not fun to putt. Whereas if I'm going straight towards the basket, let's say I miss and I miss it wide, it'll probably hit the ground and skip maybe 10, 15 feet away from the basket so it is revolutionizing my game and i really love it so far so i'm gonna do a quick in the bag just to tell you guys what i'm throwing now um it took me a while to find a putter that flew a lot like my keystone and i couldn't find a putter that i was really comfortable with i just played the circuit challenge for mvp and um, they had the atom for a putter there um, i didn't care for the mid-range i didn't care for they're understable fairway driver. Some other people like it, you might like it, and that's for you. I don't like understable discs. So for me, as a putter, I like the Atom. 
Um, it just flies straight, it glides forever. I just give it a little bit of a pop and it just glides straight into the basket. Um, I really, really enjoy putting with this. So I finally found this putter and I started to see my scores go back up again. Uh, for the videos that you guys have seen me play so far, haven't played as well, still getting to learn the discs and my putting was just atrocious. This has given me that confidence back to say, yeah, um, I can make this putt. So that's my putter. My two throwing putters are the uh, Electron Soft Proxy and the Glow Proxy. So nothing's changed from my last um, in the bag. I just got the Envy. I'm learning it still. It's in the bag, but I'm not really throwing it as much because I noticed that if I really baby that thing, it'll probably go about 250 feet with a good amount of hyzer. If I really give it a little bit more, not quite max, but a little bit more, it's gonna go about 320. So, you know, it's very touchy for me to throw the Envy. With these, I know that they're reliable. So I have two proxies here for throwing putters. I feel way more control with them. Um, for my pig replacement, I'm still throwing the Entropy. This is a plasma, sorry, a cosmic neutron uh, Entropy and I have a regular Neutron one. Um, these are great, they're a great forehand approach. I'm starting to throw more of those. They're great backhand approaches and they tend to just hit the ground and sit. So I can be very controlled towards the basket with these discs. My main workhorse is gonna be the resistor. Like I just said, I can crank this up to 400-ish feet if I wanted to. So anything, I'd say anything 300 to 400, I can throw this unless it's a headwind in which case I would throw something else. Uh, it's the next disc I'll show you, but this is gonna be my workhorse. Uh, if I throw it with just a slight bit of Anheuser, it'll go straight and further. If I throw it with a lot more Anheuser, it'll hold over. So I can actually turn to this, throw those turnover shots and have it come over before coming back a little bit. If I throw it on a little bit, little bit of Heiser, it's gonna go, it might push the straight and then come back, or it might hold it the whole way. So it's very reliable once it hits the ground It'll skip a little bit, maybe maximum 15 feet. So if I'm uh, if I'm landing at about 30 feet, which I used to do, it'll reliably skip about 15 feet and give me a good uh, putt. So that's my resistor. If there is a headwind and I can't throw the resistor and I need about 400 feet, I'm gonna throw the Octane. This is a disc anywhere between oh, 330 to 420, let's just say. Um, anything that I need for um, you know, long distance, long distance flex, more open shots here. I'm most likely gonna go with the Octane. It, uh, it's pretty stable in headwind, although this is Texas. So when I say, say stable in the headwind, I'm talking about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Anything above that, it's gonna be the next disc. But this Octane is really reliable. I love this a lot. Um, it flies a lot like an Enigma, more like an Enigma than a Destroyer. My Destroyer is very beefy, so. Um, this one I parked a 375 foot hole. I didn't park it, I was 30 feet away, but I was pin high. So let's just say that, I was pin high. So Octane, absolutely love this disc. And if we have 20 to 40, 60 mile an hour headwinds here in Texas and it's really swirling, there's a storm coming through, I'm throwing a panic. So this is more overstable. It's a 13.4, uh, negative 0.53, so, um, I don't throw many 13s. I mean, the Octane's a 13, but to me, it feels like a 12. Um, with this disc here, it's way more overstable. It's max weight, and it just gives me that hook anytime I need it to, to go laterally. If I throw it straight here, it's gonna go about here before it hits the ground. So um, this one here, if I throw it into 30 mile, in headwind, 30 mile an hour headwinds, it'll turn over just a little bit, but it'll return back to straight. If not, come over a little bit more to hyzer. So, that's what I'm rocking right now. I have a couple of utility discs that I'm trying out. Finally got my hands on the Fish and Wave. Not a huge fan of it, but I'm trying to see what I can use out of it. And like I said, you know, I'm still learning these discs. My game's still growing, uh, but I really, really like the MVP family so far, and I'm uh, excited to throw some more. So, hey guys, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I'll see you next week.